this <laughs> as usual but I'm having the greatest day and I say day because we're halfway through it it's actually five to three and yes I'm still in my pajamas I have had a wash I have done my teeth I've washed my face and stuff like that but I've not had a shower because as I was saying in my last vlog one of my goals and achievements that I want to do is cold showers cold baths and so I'm gonna go and get in a cold bath in a minute if I can find any swimwear that I may possess I don't know I haven't been swimming for a very long time and I have changed body shape put on some weight here and there carrying a little holiday weight from last Christmas <laughs> so I don't know if I have any that fit me but if I do I'll be able to film it for you guys I just finished up my Starbucks I've just edited the New Year's Eve reset video that would have gone up on New Year's Day I've just finished editing that it took a couple of hours because I've been doing things in between I've not rushed I've not you know, I've just taken my time because it's New Year's Day and I just didn't really want to do a lot today. The weather did start off very nice, but it's gone very, very dark, very, very gloomy, very, very quick. So that's a bit rubbish. But I actually like it when it's like that because I feel like I don't feel so guilty for chilling, even though it's New Year's Day and that's what everyone's doing. But anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful start to 2024. If it makes you feel any better, if you're thinking, no, Faye, actually I'm not, it's not the greatest start. We came down to our fence panel completely flat to the floor and I nearly escaped this morning, so. <laughs> My sister also messaged me saying that she smashed a mirror this morning on the first day of 2024. <laughs> Listen, it's all about the mindset. So, I'm going to put my coffee in the fridge because I actually want some more of that when I come down in a bit. I'm going to gear myself up and go and get in this cold bath. I was going to do a cold shower, but I'm going to do a cold bath and get a nice, long, warm, probably another bath later instead of a shower no shower because i'm washing my hair i need to wash my hair it's absolutely disgusting i need to take these eyelashes off i've lost some this morning all the things so wish me luck i'm gonna go upstairs hype myself up i'll try and film it let's go get a cold bath first one of 2024 let's go Start till you get in and press that. Let's go. Oh, man. I can't feel my feet. This is tremendous. Keep breathing. Good. Three minutes done. since I took that cold bath boy was that hard um, I'm just about to come and wash my hair because it's not been washed for like a week it's disgusting I'm gonna get some comfy jammies on and then me and Lee going back out to the summer house because Indy's tired she's going to bed soon I'm gonna watch Lord of the Rings but I need to get these eyelashes off so I can give my face a good scrub I'm gonna use the lash remover it's literally just like a little oil on a stick not oil on a stick oil and a stick it comes like the adhesive but like a mascara wand, don't know if it's picking that up. And you literally just brush it on like mascara and leave it for like a minute or so and they just wipe off. So I look tired, wow. So these go under the lash line. I think I've shown it before on here. Uh, so I, even though they go under the lash line, I put the mascara on the top just because it is oil and it can sting if it goes right in your eyes. So just bear with me a moment. I don't know if you can see, but literally, if I shut my eyes, this outer corner, even with this, when I push down on it, it's starting to just pull off. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but they will just slide straight off. I'll literally just get a cotton round. 
and just put it over my lashes. They've just slid off in one. I think that's all in one. All in one. Even though they are individual eyelashes, they've all just literally slid down. Tiny little bit of glue left, but once I slide the other ones off, let me see if I can do this. It's really difficult with one hand. Now that I've got the actual lashes off, I'm gonna get another cut around. Give my eyes a good rub. And if you see on there, there's none. It's gonna be quite difficult to see, but no eyelashes on there are mine. It's not pulled any eyelashes out whatsoever. Really gentle, really easy. Absolutely love these eyelashes. I don't tend to wear them all the time. I do put them on when I can, when I feel like a bit of a change, but it's nice to have them off every now and then, just to give my eyes a bit of a break, give my face a good scrub. And then put them on again, and I tend to get about a week to 10 days out of them, so worth every penny. I'm gonna get in the shower. I'll speak to you guys, I'm gonna get out. This is the summer house that me and Lee have done. I won't do a full tour, it's only a little anyway, but if anyone is a Lord of the Rings fan, we have spent two whole days. We smashed it out in two days. Let's see if we can put a big light on, actually. Um, put the bookshelf light on, because we've made bookshelves. Well, Lee's made the bookshelves. Um, we've turned it into a Lord of the Rings themed, like library slash little coffee bar area. I've not brought my stuff out yet, but little coffee bar. We've got the telly library books this is a moon you can't really see. i think i show this on one of my videos but uh, it changes color but i prefer the orangey kind of vibe looks a lot brighter on there than it actually is but this is where we are cozy little chairs very very snug vibe i had this summer house here's a fun fact for you that many will not know i have my own beauty hair and beauty business i say hair it was hair extensions um for god years i want to say like six years um, and I had this summer house built for that. I used to work out of here and it was all white. Everything was white, the wood was white. It was all like really pretty and girly and beauty-ish with this. This is actually a beauty bed that we have changed into like a sofa. Um, so we've just done with what we had. Lee has built all the um, bookshelf and everything from scratch out of scrap wood. He's built the shelf where the telly's on. He's built everything that goes above. He's literally, apart from the cupboards, obviously, that are already there and the built because the cupboards, everything inside here that is wood and like tables and stuff, Lee has built by hand. I did all the painting. Um, Lee, we even laid carpet. We've got like carpet laid down and it's very, very cozy. So this is where we spent our New Year's Eve last night. We are now, it's just coming up for quarter past ten, so me and Lee are going to settle down and we're going to watch The Lord of the Rings on there, cosied up on here with cups of tea, and that's what we're going to do for the rest of our night, because Indy's just gone off to bed, she's very, very tired, so while she's gone off to bed, we are going to get cosy and chill, but thank you for spending the first day of 2024 with me, I hope you've enjoyed it, it's been a very chill day nice and clean got my pajamas on ready to tackle another day and the rest of this week i after tomorrow i am back to studying because i have an exam on monday biggest exam so it's uh anatomy and physiology pathophysiology and pharmacology all in one whack so it's a very very big exam so i have got lots of studying to do so back to the nursing life after today so i'm trying to soak everything up and tomorrow I'll probably have a bit of a chill tomorrow as well but I'm trying to just trying to soak everything up and enjoy it while we can because league goes back to work on wednesday as well so that's a bit bit rubbish when he has to do that but hey ho that's where we're at but yes thank you so much for spending another day with me thank you for being here i hope you stick around for another video some more content coming up some nursing content so make sure you stick around for that if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button i'll see you guys in the next one it began with the forging of the great rings